Hello, I'm Soraya Signorina from Caroline County Humane Society, and this is Jackie. I'm here at WBOC's Historic Studio D, and you're watching Delmarva Life. It's great to have Soraya and Jackie. What a cutie! I mean, Jackie is the all kinds of trouble here. If you haven't heard, today is Food Day, a nationwide celebration and a movement toward more healthy, affordable, and sustainable food. So when it comes to healthy eating, what kind of produce is available this time of year? Brian Spiros is at How Sweet It Is in Eden this afternoon with more on all the choices. Brian? Well, Lisa and Jimmy, first a little bit about Food Day. It's actually celebrated every year and aims to accomplish several different things, some of which include reducing diet-related diseases by promoting safe, healthy food, supporting sustainable farms, and expanding access to food to alleviate hunger. And with that said, we are going to talk about healthy food and some of the food that's available this time of year. And joining me now is Brent, who is the owner of How Sweet It Is. So the first thing, Brent, I want to talk about is people often think that probably the summer is when everything's at its most plentiful, but that's not the case. No, actually, uh, the fall, really, we have a, a whole cornucopia of things. It's, uh, you know, everything's mature. It's harvest season. Um, a lot of things that, you know, people are familiar with, we've, we've got out here for you today. And we have a lot of stuff here. So let's start, we're going to start over here with the sweet potatoes first. Okay, okay. Everyone's familiar with your regular old-fashioned sweet potatoes. Uh, if you're from up north, you call them yams. You know, they're great for pies or biscuits or just cooking or whatever. But something we really have is a local eastern shore. It's a kind of an intrinsic local delicacy is the white. White Heyman sweet potatoes, and as far as I know, they're only grown here on the eastern shore of Maryland, and uh, they, uh, they're great. They're a little different inside. They're harvested late in October, and we like to keep them about 70 degrees until, until about Thanksgiving. And then they're yellow inside, they're a lot sweeter than the others, and they're, uh, they're something you can only get here. So if people want them, this is the time of year to get them. Absolutely. So moving on from the sweet potatoes, what else do we have here that's healthy and available this time of year? Well, there's a lot of things. A lot of people, uh, you know, the falls when your, your peppers finally turn red, if you want to make pepper relish, you know, green and red peppers. Uh, the turnips, you know, the, all your greens are starting to get ready, so now it's time for turnips and beets if you want to pickle your beets. Of course, we, we have our own line of pickled beets and pepper relish and all that stuff. We're fortunate to have a, a someone that takes care of the apiary locally here. We've got local honey, which is great for your local allergies and stuff. Uh, there's a trend now. We've got local organic free-range chicken eggs. There's a there's you know there's local cheeses and stuff and something that's really cool is there's still people around that that hand shell lima beans all year long people look for those this is the time of year in the fall when they're ready you know you can make soup or whatever but the, the local limas the all the seafood is ready in the fall you know the crabs are the best of the season so they make the best local crab meat this is um, the time of year from so, the Chesapeake yeah. so from that too let's go to all the squash here because people associate fall sure. with, with, with the squash and we grow these here on the farm something that's really cool the uh, spaghetti squash if you've never tried them you inside once you cook them they're just like angel hair anything you can do with angel hair pasta hey you can do it with a squash the acorn squash you know butter cinnamon nutmeg bake them they're kind of like a sweet potato as are the butternut but with a butternut a lot of people don't know you they make great pies and they're actually easier to work with you said than using a pumpkin absolutely so all right now this is interesting here because when I think of zucchini and, and yellow squash I think uh -huh. of the summertime but it's actually available this year right this time well, of year well this you know this is kind of the last go around this is the last crop before we start getting the heavy frost kind of taking this stuff out for the season so enjoy that kind of stuff you know, your string beans at the end of the season, they're always the prettiest for some reason. They're getting ready to be the last ones. They're great. You know, if you like fried green tomatoes, you know, go ahead and those. get your last shot of those. They're good. So and all that's available. And then moving on now to the one thing people probably associate with the fall, of course, sure. would be the apples. Sure. In the fall, you're bobbing for apples. You're apples with the kids lunch for snack, making apple pies. The cider's available. You know, everybody's favorite apple of the season, locally anyway, is the wine sap. It's your last local apple of the year. They're the ugliest apple and the best eating. They're crisp. They're tart. You can snack them, make pies. All right, so good. So the ugliest apple, but the best. But the best. Um, and then let's talk about uh, the greens here. These oh, are very yeah. healthy for you. Very healthy. Everybody's got their own take on how to cook them. Um, but we grow the curly kale, turnip greens, collards, mustard greens. There's a lot of ways to cook them, you know. Cook them with your fat meat or the bacon or cook them as a healthy alternative. But they're good no matter how you eat them. All right, good to know. And then finally, what do we have here? We have cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli. We all know they're good fall vegetables that are really good for you, you know. And if you still got 
had some old-fashioned get up, you know, hey, carve a pumpkin, cook the seeds, make a real old-fashioned pie. So today, all about eating healthy and supporting sustainable farms, and I think we're doing just that here by showing all of this. So, Brent, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank a you. lot of great stuff, and of course, a lot of great information, and I want to take a bite of the ugliest apple. That's good. Good stuff. I like it. All right. Jimmy and Lisa, maybe I'll bring some back for you. I haven't decided yet, but we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Uh, I already made my request. <laughs> Need some other ideas to keep it healthy? Just read the labels of the food you eat. What food additives you may want to avoid to keep the body going strong. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news. First at 5 on Fox 21, a little bit later on, WBOC News at 6.